The offset curve on surface command is very, very similar to the original offset curve command, but of course specialized just for those curves on surface that you can create when NURBS modeling. Let me begin by creating a curve on surface. I'll create a NURBS sphere here in the scene. We'll blow it up nice and big. Uh, let me go ahead and go to modify, make it live, and we'll grab a NURBS curve. And I'll just click around a few times and create a really cool looking curve across the surface. Deselect, make not live, and there we go. So here's my curve on surface. Now I can select this, go under edit curves, come down to offset. We have offset curve on surface, and if we open up the options, we'll notice that the options are very similar to what we saw on the original offset curve tool. With a few differences. One, we can't really change the normal. There's no reason to because we're not really working in 3D space here. We are offsetting this only along the surface. So we will get another curve that exists uh, either to the left or to the right of this curve, but still on that surface, only in two directions. So there's no need to actually pump in a vector to, uh, to show which way we're going to be uh, using a normal. We have an offset distance, just like we had before. We can choose to connect any breaks that may happen in the curve, should they pop up, should the, uh, the offset curve kind of have a snap in it. We can choose to connect those circularly or linearly. We can decide whether or not we're going to uh, cut any loops, but notice we don't have that circular fillet radius uh, for loop cutting. Again, we have max subdivision density to control how much each span of the curve can be, uh, can be subdivided as we create our copy, and we have our tolerance. Now let me go ahead and just real quickly, we'll create this. So here's by default my offset. And we have a, a new node here with a distance just like the old one. And you can see we have an offset. And the, notice also that the curve is still staying right on the surface no matter what I set my distance to be. Now I have some looping taking place here. So we can go into the attribute editor and you'll notice we have the cut loop checkbox. We can switch that on and we can get rid of that looping. But again, we don't have that radius to make a fillet there. Just be aware of that. Let's go back to our settings, open these back up. Now tolerance, we've already talked about on several tools. It's just a way for you to control the positional tolerance or accuracy of the curve that's going to be created. And we also have our complete and partial curve, just like we had on the uh, original offset curve command. So I can click apply like so. And if we come back over to the channel box, we have a min and max value. So I can increase or decrease this, or I can grab my show manipulator tool and do this intuitively right here on the screen. And that's really all there is to it. It's very, very simple. It's exactly like the original offset curve uh, command, just minus a few operations and specified only for curves on surface. So that's going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.